Thanks for joining me for Tech Tip Thursday with my home office crew. This week we are talking e-bike batteries and I'm going to walk through best practices for how to charge your battery and how to store it. We're going to use my Risa Mueller Paxter as an example and this has a dual battery configuration, frame mounted batteries that has a pair of Bosch 500 watt hour power packs. And if I want to charge my batteries, I've got two options as do you. I can charge it on the bike or I can take it off and charge it off of the bike. The charging port when the battery is on the bike is underneath this little flap here. If I want to take the battery off of the bike for convenience or whatever reason, it's slick because I actually have a key in this cafe lock that's key to life to my battery. So I will pop one of these power packs off and I'll find the charging port when you have the battery off the bike right on the underside. So with my Risa Mueller, probably similar to a Bosch e-bike that you have, it came with the standard charger. These chargers are really self-explanatory. You've got one end of the charger that has a two-prong wall outlet attachment, and you've got one end of the charger that plugs into the battery itself. If I go from fully drained to fully charged on this 500 watt hour battery, I'm looking at about a four and a half hour turnaround. Half drained to fully charged is about a two hour turnaround, but these batteries are so resilient that you can top them off or charge them just a little bit according to what's convenient for a riding style. The best practices for where to charge your battery are actually the same for where to store your battery. You wanna look for a dry environment, relatively cool or room temperature and out of direct sunlight. And if you're going to be storing your battery or your bike for a long period of time over the cold months, charge it at a 30 to 60% charge and it'll preserve the lifespan of the battery. Finally, if you are riding in sub-zero temps, which is hard to believe right now, you wanna wait for as long as possible to actually mount the battery onto your bike as you set off riding. That's it for this week. We'll look forward to joining you next week. Thanks.